What's up guys, it's Leah here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fully automatic basalt farm. So, as you can see behind me, these are the designs. It's modular, so you can make one, or you can make two, three, four. You can have it coming in from all four sides, basically. So, but, and then this is the TNT duplicator that we'll be using today. A design I haven't shown off on my channel before, so first time for everything. But basically how this works is the basalt generates, gets pushed up by the pistons, pushed out, and then they meet in the middle and get blown up by the TNT, which is on a hopper clock. So if you want to know how to build this, I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to build a design like this. It's the same thing as this, I'm just only building one side of it. And then if you want to build the other side, or three more sides, you're welcome to. However, I would like to note the collection chamber, the more you build, it won't be able to keep up and you'll have to switch up your collection chamber design because it'll need more hoppers and stuff. So, because this right here, it's struggling to keep up. Even the hoppers get backed up. But, let's get to building it. Alright, to get started, you want to place five sticky pistons facing upwards with soil soil on the top. Then, on this side of it, which is whatever side you want the basalt to be pushing towards, you want to place blue ice. Like that. And then you want to cap this off on the sides. Like this. And then put blocks next to the soul sand blocks. The blocks you're using, I'm using iron blocks. You don't have to use iron blocks. I know a lot of people do redstone with iron blocks, actually, if you have a good iron golem farm. However, you just have to use something that doesn't burn. So, only if you have fire tick on. If you don't have fire tick on, then you can use whatever box you want. But, this should work. And so then, we'll put the lava in there last. So now, take pistons. And you want to make a 3x5 thing of them. So we want to place them like this. Going all the way across. And then, upwards. 3 blocks. Now, grab obsidian, place it like this on top. This will make it where the basalt won't get pushed any higher. Now, grab yourself an observer, come over to this side, and place it so it's detecting the block right there. Nice. So now, place a little square of iron like this. It should be 3 by 2 There we go. And then place a repeater, redstone dust like this, and then another repeater on four ticks going into that previous one. Then come down to the bottom here and place target blocks on the side right here with iron blocks right here and redstone on top of the iron blocks. This makes it where the signal actually will go into the piston since the redstone connects it to the target block. If the redstone dust was just running next to the piston, it wouldn't work. Then, just take this up one and put redstone dust right there. So this is the bottom half of it. So, again, sticky pistons, soul sand on top, blue ice, target box behind the sticky pistons, and the observer repeater set up here. Now, we can, we can do it on the same side. We'll just do that for now. We'll do it on this side. Place an observer like this. Place an iron under it like this. You'll see we're kind of doing a similar setup. Repeater. Repeater going into that one with four ticks and redstone. What this does is it temporarily, when it detects it, it temporarily locks that repeater there. So because otherwise, it'll just power on and off because it'll detect the piston moving. So this temporarily makes it where it doesn't like, where the redstone signal of it detecting something doesn't go through. So we don't end up with pistons powering on and off forever. Now, again, place target blocks along that middle row. Grab iron blocks, place them along like this. Run redstone dust right here. Then place target blocks on the top up here, like this. So just one layer on top of the piston. Iron box on top of those target on the target box down here, and then redstone like this. So it should look like that. Now. Bring this up with this, and this right here. Redstone, 
redstone, redstone. So basically you just want to connect both these lines up. So now you should see if we put the lava in, this should make it and keep pushing it out. And then I'm just going to add in a lever right here that we can use to turn the machine on and off. So to do that, so you have an on off switch, take this, come one up, and then take this right here and come one down. Run redstone like this. Oh my, sorry. Take this, come one down. This comes one up. And then this could come down again, so. We'll do it like this, there we go. So just have this come here, this come here, and then I'll switch here. And then just put a block there so that doesn't connect. So now if you were to turn this off, the soil sand pulls up and the pistons push out, which keeps any more basalt from generating. And then this will keep it going again. So now we will just add lava. There we go. And then the first layer is a little bit wonky. There we go. It doesn't seem like we had a full source there. So this happens. Troubleshooting this is just stop the machine and start it again. So there we go. So see that fixed it. So then you'll see this will push it out to 12 blocks. And you could you could leave it like here at that TNT thing and just break this with an efficiency by pick pickaxe and insta mine. However, if you'd like to build the TNT duplicator part of it, I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, to start out on the TNT part, place a piece of obsidian right here. Then temporarily come up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should be good. You want to be safe, you can go up a little bit more, but this should be perfect. So then delete these blocks. And then here, you want to grab yourself fence gate. So everything you see in my hotbar right now, you'll need just for the TNT duplicator part. So fence gates. Place a piece of TNT right here with a spruce fence on top of it. Then Place a slime block right here next to the fence. Slime block going up like this, so you should make a little shape like this. And then place two downwards and a dead fan coil right here. Now grab a detector rail, put it right here, and a minecart right here. Okay, now place a sticky piston like this, facing towards it. Okay, now we're gonna make the hopper cock part. So to do that, come out a few blocks and place hoppers facing in towards each other. Now extend this side two blocks and that side one. So you should have two on each side of the hoppers. Place a comparator right here, a block of iron right here, and a redstone dust right here. And a sticky piston with a redstone block on it like this. Now do the same on this side without the redstone block. There we go. Now, you will want to put, you'll want to put about six items in this. You can mess with the timings a little bit, especially if you're on a server. And then just temporarily put a lever here on this right one to deactivate it, just for a bit. And then grab iron, two pieces of iron blocks, or your building blocks, and then just line redstone dust like this. Now this TNT duplicator design, I'm gonna, you'll see. So if I activate this, it pushes forward and then drops. This design is nicer than the other design I have up on my channel because it stays in one place. So the TNT on the other one will sometimes go backwards, sometimes go forward. No matter what, this one goes to the front. And then this will break the basalt. So if we were to have the basalt pushing forward, You've got to temporarily activate that because it was pushed out to all 12. So if it pushes out to all 12, 
Most of the time you'll have to deactivate and activate it again to get it working. But you can see this is breaking it and then you want some sort of obsidian water chamber underneath to catch all the items. Or some people do ender chests with hoppers under it. But you just need some sort of catching chamber and you can use terracotta like glazed terracotta if you wanted to. Just something that doesn't explode to make a chamber underneath. 